Hello and welcome. I am Ladi Akiri Dunwale. Tonight, governors of the ruling All Progressives Congress back President Buhari on refusal for tenure extension for elected party officials set for party congresses at all levels. President Buhari meets with security chiefs, approves $1 billion for the purchase of military equipment to tackle terrorism and other crimes. As army winds down Operation Cat Race in Benway, controversy trails military activities in the state as troops intercept armed herdsmen in Guma Council. An organization for the prohibition of chemical weapons turns down Russia's proposal for joint probe into the poisoning of an ex-spy and his daughter in the United Kingdom. And on business news tonight, financial and economic experts commend new CBN MPC decision to maintain status quo on key interest rates, recommend need for price stability at the forex market. On sports news, hamstring injury rules Nigeria forward Abafemi Martins out of action for seven months, ending his hopes of appearing in this year's World Cup in Russia. We begin tonight with the resolution by governors of the All Progressives Congress to align with President Mohamed Buhari on the tenure of party executives. The governor of Zamfara State, who spoke on behalf of the governors, says after several meetings of APC governors and other stakeholders, they have resolved to respect the party's constitution. He says the party is set to conduct congresses at all levels when its committee concludes its findings on how to ensure a smooth exercise. The governors insist there is no crisis in the APC. At its neck meeting in Abuja, the All Progressive Congress agreed to extend the tenure of its leadership. The NEC has decided to extend the tenure of the current NWC and other executive committees at various levels uh, for another 12 months. Some party members kicked, but the opposition was muted. Many thought the issue was rested once and for all. That was not to be. President Buhari at another meeting took the stage and pronounced the extension of the John Odigio Yegun-led executive as illegal. He relied on the APC constitution amongst other considerations. I have taken time to listen uh, to my legal advisor. Uh, constitutionally given to me in terms of the Ministry of Justice that uh, our decision is contrary to both the party and the constitutional position. The president stand elicited reactions across the country amidst all of which governors of the APC met to take a position. First, they met at the presidential villa, then moved to the Secretariat of the Nigerian Governors Forum. At the end, they were not forthcoming with a clear position. To make sure everything is good and everything is getting better and better and better. What about the tenure extension? We are consulting. We are consulting. However, the day after, they met with President Buhari, then spoke to reporters. They deny there is any crisis in the party and resolve to toe the path of the president to hold fresh congresses at all levels. We consulted all the governors, 24 of the APC governors were on the same page with Mr. President that we are going to respect our party constitution, we are going to respect our, 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 our constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is yet to be seen if this step will indeed put the issue to rest with less than a year to the general elections. From the presidential villa in Abuja, Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News. In the meantime, the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Chief John Oyegu, is insisting that the party has resolved the issues threatening its unity, adding that the ruling party is back in business as one united family. The ABC chairman was speaking to journalists in Abuja after a meeting with Governors Abdulaziz Yari of Zamfara, Simon Lalong of Planto, Rochester of Korocha of Imo, Abdullah Ganduje of Kano, and Imukele Amosu of Ogun State. I want to say to you with absolute satisfaction, absolute pride, that all the issues that 
you have been commenting about in the last two days have been completely and totally resolved. We are back in business as one united and happy family. I want to say also that yesterday or a couple of days ago, we set up a committee, the NEC, sorry, in his decision on the 27th, authorized the setting up of a technical committee. From the very minute we called them into session, they have worked non-stop with virtually no sleep. Because I emphasized when I was inaugurating them that their report was time sensitive. Staying with politics ahead of the 2019 elections, Nigeria's main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, is alleging that the ruling APC is already passing through death throes and pre-election trauma. A statement from the PDP National Publicity Secretary, Mr. Kolo Ogbodiyo, says APC leaders are now in a frenzy over the baggage of an extremely unpopular presidential candidate ahead of the 2019 elections. The PDP is also asking Nigerians to remain alert and wary of all activities of power mongers who are afraid of elections and ready to destroy Nigeria's democratic institutions for selfish reasons. The PDP says it is repositioned to opening up a level playing field for all Nigerians to aspire for any position without hindrance. And still with politics, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Ekiti State, has officially given a notice of election 90 days to the July 14 governorship poll. The commission says it is also fine-tuning all arrangements to ensure the elections run without hitch, as another round of continuous voter registration exercise will kick off next week to allow eligible voters register. According to INEC, over 128,000 fresh registrations have been recorded, while about 218,000 permanent voter counts are yet to be picked up. Meanwhile, Ekiti State Governor Ayodele Farouche is calling on Ekiti indigents to go out and register, and for those who have registered, to pick up their cards. President Mohamed Buhari has approved the purchase of military hardware worth $1 billion for the use of the armed forces. The president gave the approval during a meeting with security chiefs of the armed forces at the Minister of Defense at the presidential villa in Abuja. Details were offered by the minister, Mansur Dan Ali, when he spoke to State House correspondents after the meeting. The minister also disclosed that efforts have been intensified to rescue Leah Sharibu, the remaining Dapchi schoolgirl held by Boko Haram insurgents. The president had earlier cancelled the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting ahead of the security meeting. This is the normal uh, quarterly meeting of security agencies within the country. And as usual, we discuss the current activities that affected most of the states in the Federation, like Taraba, uh, Zampara and other states. We have seen deployment in Zampara. What are we expecting? Well, as usual, uh, we have is, uh, operationalized a division in Sokoto and there will be a brigade in Katsina and another brigade in Z Zampara that will take care of the security uh, situation of that area. How do you think that is going to change the situation? Of course, because the number of, uh, I mean the strength of the um, uh, Military personnel have increased, including the Air Force additional uh, uh, quick response group. They have added enough manpower in that general area. About the Zankari, I can see me. Kwanan ng sugabamu sugabang kasaya bada approval na asawo kaya kina ya ikaw sa mga billion daya. Meanwhile, as the Nigerian Army prepares to wind down Operation Cat Race in Benue State, the Nigerian Bar Association and the joint Benue Social Cultural Organizations are alleging that the military exercises failed to curb killings by headsmen in the state. The chairman of the MBA in Makodi, Emmanuel Agbakor, made this known at a briefing in Makodi following allegations of increased attacks and displacements of farmers in several local council areas, even with the presence of the army. But the Deputy Director of Army Information, Major Olabisi Ayani, 
denies the allegation, saying there was no way the army could be covering for the herdsmen. Communities in Logo and Guma local councils of Benue State sacked by rampaging herdsmen with over 73 farmers massacred on New Year's Day. In their anguish, youth take to the streets of Makodi, the state capital, in protest, demanding immediate action from the federal government. On February the 20th, the Chief of Army staff arrives in Benue to flag off exercise cat race. First of all, let me make it very clear that this is not an operation. It is an exercise. It is essentially a training exercise. And I want to assure everybody that we are not targeting any individual. However, following more killings in Okpoku and Guma local council areas, lawyers and the joint social cultural groups accused the military of further compounding the problem. The exercise has failed us. We will not call for an extension of a failed exercise, but we would call for a determined exercise that is capable of restoring peace in Benue State, that is capable of taking the people out of the IDP camps to their homes and to their families. Instead of restoring peace and security, their presence here in Benue State has facilitated more attacks on people of Benue State. Internally displaced people have increased to 175,000 in number. More schools in four or five local governments have closed. Channels Television visits the operational command of the exercise Cat Race to check out a few facts. The army takes us through the gains of the exercise in response to the accusations. We are here to protect every single soul in Benue State, both the indigenous, and the, the locals and visitors. However, anybody, any criminal that wants to make life difficult for people in Benue State will be arrested. And that is why 146 uh, elders have been arrested and handed over to the civil police. As the exercise cat race winds up, Farmers numbering over 170,000 who have been sacked from their homes are stuck in IDP camps, unable to return to their communities, which are still being occupied by the invaders. Meanwhile, army authorities say troops undertaking the Operation Cat Race exercise have intercepted a large number of armed herdsmen in Assam village in Guma local government area of Benue State. A statement from the Director of Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Texas Wachuku, says the bandits were intercepted based on a tip-off. The statement says the bandits opened fire on the troops and sighting them at the Uka and Barbanrua area of Benue State, killing one of the herdsmen in the encounter. But the statement did not state if the bandits were arrested, and neither did it state if they escaped during the gun battle. It adds that two persons shot by suspected herdsmen along Bajimba Kasio Road were also rescued. Staying with security matters, suspected herdsmen have attacked Mbia village in Takum local government area of Taraba state, killing a family of four. The victims, Sunday Sabo, his wife and two children, were killed in the middle of the night when the armed men attacked their home. A statement from the senior special assistant to the Taraba state governor, Baladan Abu, says the herdsmen later headed for neighboring Basa village, where they also set ablaze houses. Taraba is one of the states in north-central Nigeria where the army is presently carrying out its Operation Cat Race aimed at ending the crisis between herdsmen and farmers. In part two after the break, CBN Monetary Policy Committee ends two-day meeting in Abuja, retains key interest rates and other parameters. We'll be talking to Pesma Rwane of Financial Derivatives on this. Please stay on with us.